Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Mary Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudaybiya Palace today with UK Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Simon Martin. His Royal Highness affirmed a keenness to strengthen bilateral relations and enhance them with more investments and economic, cultural, educational and technological cooperation. He commended the existing cooperation in facing current threats to the region through further international cooperation in combating terrorism and preserving global security and stability. The Prime Minister noted the role of British expertise in Bahrain's development process, calling to reinforce joint cooperation in the commercial and economic fields and expand opportunities for more joint projects between Bahraini and British companies. In regards to regional and international developments, His Royal Highness pointed out security and stability were the pillars of development, highlighting Bahrain's effective role in supporting the efforts of brotherly and allied countries to preserve regional security and stability. For his part, the ambassador expressed pride in the historic relations between the two countries and a high appreciation for the Bahraini government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. He confirmed his country's keenness to strengthen joint cooperation, especially in the economic and investment fields, and noted the level of joint coordination in all fields, highlighting Bahrain's efforts to preserve regional security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received at Gudebia Palace today the Duke of Westminster, Gerald Grosvenor, currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the deep-rooted excellent relations between the two countries and joint cooperation in line with the vision of His Majesty the King. He also noted the mutual keenness to reinforce joint cooperation to serve the best interests of both countries and people. The meeting also reviewed joint cooperation in the economic, commercial and cultural fields and ways of consolidating them. For his part, the Duke of Westminster thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his care in reinforcing bilateral relations, commending Bahrain's development in all fields. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended today the closing ceremony of the Ironman Championship in South Africa. His Highness hailed Bahrain Endurance 13 member Ben Hoffman's achievement of first place and the Bahrain team's achieving eighth place in the Ironman Championship, saying this achievement was a step towards the qualifying for the World Championship next September in Croatia. His Highness stressed the importance of exerting more efforts in the next phase in order to reach higher levels in this sport. The Bahraini team was then honoured for their achievement. His Majesty the King deputised the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, to attend a wedding reception held at Al Meshraf Palace in the Emirati capital, Abu Dhabi. The event was held under the patronage of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to celebrate the wedding of Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to the daughter of Abu Dhabi's ruler representative in the eastern region, Sheikh Tahnoun bin Muhammad Al Nahyan, in the participation of 108 newlywed couples from the UAE. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the congratulations of His Majesty the King to Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, along with his wishes of continued health, happiness and prosperity. He also affirmed the brotherly consolidated ties between Bahrain and the UAE and wished him abundant health and happiness. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated today in the Council of Foreign Ministers preparatory meeting 
of the 13th session of the Islamic Summit Conference to be held under the theme Unity and Solidarity for Justice and Peace in Istanbul, Turkey on the 14th and 15th of April 2016. Topics on the agenda of the summit include a number of issues, most notably the Palestinian cause, the fight against terrorism, violent extremism and Islamophobia. The summit will also discuss the humanitarian situation in the Islamic world and organization of Islamic cooperation's program of action 2016-2025, to in addition to the final communique and Istanbul declaration. The summit aims to review the political, economic and social areas of the current international situation and discuss their implications on the Islamic world and how to address them. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with his Kyrgyzstan counterpart Arlan Abdul Daif on the sidelines of the 13th summit of the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, to be held in Istanbul in the Republic of Turkey on the 14th and 15th of April. The meeting reviewed the ways to cement bilateral relations, to promote common interest and further enhance cooperation between the two countries, as well as to increase coordination on all issues. For his part, Arlan Abul Daif expressed appreciation and pride over the progress of the bilateral ties between the two countries, reiterating his country's resolve for a strong and mutually beneficial relationship. He invited Sheikh Khalid to visit Kyrgyzstan in line with both sides' goodwill to strengthen relations between the two friendly countries. Talks also extended to cover topics on the agenda of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Summit, the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza inaugurated today the third International Pipeline Operation and Management Conference and Exhibition in the participation of more than 600 participants from 17 countries. The minister noted the importance of providing high quality pipelines for a safe transportation of fuel. He also affirmed that the National Oil and Gas Authority had taken the, ne the necessary procedures regarding securing pipelines in national petroleum companies. The minister said the NOGA is in the process of implementing petroleum projects, including the transformation of the aviation fuel tanks from Arad to Bahrain International Airport, in addition to a project regarding the new petroleum pipelines between the Kingdom and Saudi Arabia. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali al Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved a proposal on the establishment of the Ministry of Planning and Scientific Research. The Council approved a suggestion on transforming the Bahrain Stock Exchange into an open joint stock company and a report granting risk premium for the staff of the Drug Enforcement Administration. The Council also approved a report on amending the conditions of the municipal councils and a report on providing Wi-Fi services in cities and streets of Bahrain. And now it's time to hand you over to Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Mary Claire. watching the business news on Bahrain television. Bahrain Boros announced today that it will be a key sponsor for the CFA Middle East Investment Conference that will be held tomorrow in Bahrain. The conference will bring together renowned investment leaders and thinkers to examine the challenges and opportunities that face the global financial industry and the implications for investors in the region. And now let's take a look on how the Bahrain Boros fared today.